Hello Taurus, welcome to your How Do They Feel About You reading. Let's go ahead and find out how your person feels about you Taurus. How does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? How does Taurus's person feel about Taurus? How does, ooh, okay. We have Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. So if things were going one way, you can expect big changes. Ten of Cups. Wow. Ten of Cups is happiness. Perfect bliss. Attaining happiness. Prince of Wands. This person comes towards you and they've got passion on their mind. And they want to turn into the King of Wands. They want to claim... Um, this situation with you to think you how do they feel about you they want to turn things around they want to get really really passionate with you with the king of wands okay could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay we've got four fixed signs in the wheel of fortune uh, we've got Aquarius Scorpio Leo Taurus okay so let's clarify these cards shall we Spirit, tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune for my Taurus. Also, Taurus, if you like this reading, please do click like. That helps my, my video get seen. It gets put out there in YouTube um, so other Taurus can get their messages. We've got Ace of Wands, New Passion. Wow, so things are turning around. How do they feel about you? You know, it's like when Batman, um, they've got the pizzazz and wow, bam. <laughs> That's how I feel with this. And Ten of Wands is um, something very heavy weighing them down. That is how they feel about you, okay? Maybe they really just want to move forward with you because they want to be the King of Wands. And if you're the male, it's like you really want this person and you want to secure uh, your place with this person tell me about ten of cups ten of cups is family happiness bliss that family unit energy we have ace of cups this person is in love with you taurus they're in passion with you desire on fire and in love in heart in emotion okay they want the family thing with you now uh Knight of Wands with the Prince of Wands, they, they want to come towards you and they want to stand their ground with you. Um, Queen of Cups, it could be you, could be your person if you're the masculine. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. My water in my chart, I have Cancer in my chart and that is um, in my Mars. So this would be if this was my reading uh, where my water is because I'm a sun Taurus and if I was the masculine because I'm a sun Taurus I have fire in my rising and in my Venus so it's really important to know where your planet placements are um, so that you know exactly what this is targeting and what aspect of you as well as your person okay generally speaking the Queen of Cups is someone who's all heart and all love, okay? She's very intuitive, very psychic, very dreamy. She's very, um, you know, someone who's very emotional. You know, she would cry, you know, watching a Disney movie. I mean, I cry watching Disney sometimes. So, yeah, I'm just saying. I know some guys that do too. So it's like, you know, not afraid to be emotional. And there's the King of Wands who's very passionate. He's the one that wears that perfect aftershave, that silky shirt that, you know, just turns your head and you're like, wow, that is the perfect male type of thing you know not saying that you know other signs are not you know the perfect um male or female just saying that is the charisma that this person has they're chiseled and they're just pretty much thinking masculine things not saying that any other males don't but i'm just saying that the king of wands is like bam in your face this is who you are 
okay so if you're the masculine taurus this is how you appear and this is how the feminine sees you and this is how they respond to you with emotion and all heart and they're just you know feeling like i just just i'm delicate you know and if you're the masculine it's just like they just really respond to you um so that is why these cards are coming out just so to help you understand tarot so let's keep going and further um look into this ace of wands spirit tell me more about the ace of wands for my taurus and how do they feel about taurus this is new this is fresh this is brand new someone who's um making you feel the feels okay with the ace of wands what what is difficult with ten of wands okie dokie there's a fair few cards there is a meeting uh, an invitation to a meeting that makes someone anxious um they're trying to suppress their emotions uh, with temperance and eight of cups it's kind of like someone's in love someone's got the passion someone's got the fireworks someone's got the wow but then it's like i don't want to accept now i swear i did a reading today and that was what it was all about is this um i think that was your Taurus, uh, your soulmate reading taurus because it's pretty much the same story and i've done all the other signs in between and now i'm doing you again and it's literally the same story that I did before. Wow, okay. So let's go ahead and have a look at the Ace of Cups for my Taurus. King of Swords is coming towards you. And you're going to need to make a decision. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. A Chariot is a Cancer. Temperance is a Sagittarius. I'm pretty sure I said that already. So when this person comes towards you, you have a decision to make. Okay. Tell me about this Knight of Wands that's riding in to sweep Taurus away. And if you're the masculine, that's you. They're not taking no for an answer. They're like, no, I'm I'm definitely I'm on my way. I'm halfway there. You can't say no now. This person maybe even wants to relocate because they're moving. And the Queen of Cups, judgment reversed. She's not making a decision. There needs to be a decision made, but she's refusing to make a decision. She's like, no, I'm not going to choose. So is this a love decider? Is this literally, and I think I said the other day, I'm going to do a love decider for you, Taurus, because another reading um, had two loves. So I feel someone from the past or someone is trying to come back. Someone is trying to get your attention and they're like, no, I'm coming anyway. And then there is someone else who is also saying the same thing and you're like, no, I'm not going to choose. So what does Taurus do? Wow, you've got two of cups. You've got a soulmate. Uh, could be a Leo or loyalty. Someone is someone that feels the same for you as you do for them is completely loyal and they're sending you messages that they're relocating or they're moving to heal and they're turning things around. Moving on to an Aquarius, maybe. There is Aquarius, there's Leo, and then there's the four fixed signs, which is the same thing here. So someone is definitely wanting to turn things around. Maybe you were seeing someone and things started to go a little bit, you know, stagnant. And now they're like, no, I'm going to fire things up and I'm going to show you how I feel. I'm the king of wands and I'm so desiring you right now. Let me know what this means to you, Taurus. So I'll do the energy oracle for you and see what else pops up. How do they feel about Taurus? Ooh, they're coming in like a freight train, Taurus. And they're coming in to heal. 
you got the six of swords twice and now you've got journey because they you know they just appreciate you they think you're amazing okay so they're coming to heal they're literally traveling then they're standing the ground they're coming like a storm they're like no i'm coming i want to be with you and they want to stand their ground with you they really appreciate you so someone's not taking no for an answer taurus how do they feel about you they feel very strongly for you all right let me know how this resonates what this means to you taurus personal readings you know my blog link is in the description box below you know that i have a payment arrangement and um, a payment um, system for every single budget and taurus if you liked it don't forget to hit like and that notification bell and as always i send you so much love peace and light bye for now